Good morning, people of St. Matthew's. As you can see, the church is decked out in purple for Lent. Today is actually Ash Wednesday, and we still have two services today at noon in the Memorial Garden, and then at 7 p.m. here in the church with the choir. And I hope you'll be able to join us for one of those. At the early morning, morning service this morning, I was struck by the reading from the prophet Joel, in which Joel talks about returning, returning to God, returning to faithfulness, gathering and assembling the people in that desire to return to God, and sanctifying time and space in our lives to God's love and God's care and God's greater glory. And that's fitting for every Lenten season, for sure, this call to return and to gather as a people and return in faithfulness to God. But it seems really apropos for us as in this Lent, we come out of the coronavirus, God willing, and are able to more safely and freely gather in person, assemble in person, not only for worship, but for fellowship and for ministry and all those things that makes church life so special. We're going to do all of that without losing. In fact, we'll be improving our online offerings. But this really is a season for returning, for regathering, reassembling, reengaging our ministry. And the first thing we do in Lent is to put ourselves before God for the re-sanctification of our lives and of this building and of our church and of our community and this parish, the re-sanctification of all of that to God's greater purpose and God's greater glory. To assist in that, we have the Lent program, You Redeemed, which you can still sign up for. It is in the information below in this email. That starts this Sunday at 9.15 Sunday Forum on the worship channel or in person at the church. So the Lent program starts this Sunday at 9.15 Sunday Forum time. And also, I've been thinking a lot about how we come back to church, how we regather and how we reassemble. And there's so much excitement when we do come back. Uh, like we had last week with the annual meeting of people seeing each other for the first time in months and maybe even a couple years. So I really want to invite you, however you come back into community, to enjoy that fellowship and to take that as a real gift from God and greet one another and enjoy one another and make space for one another. And then as we come into this amazing amazing parish church. I don't know if a church as beautiful as this church is. I invite you to take some time this Lent as you come in, if you come in for Sunday worship, to have quiet in this space and to soak up, to soak up the beauty and the sacredness and the reverence that is in this place. And as we care for the quiet and give each other that chance to hear God, hear ourselves and know ourselves in this beautiful and sacred space, Jason is offering a series of rather amazing preludes this Lent to further open our hearts to God before we begin our worship regathering, returning to God, sanctifying, letting God re-sanctify us in our lives and this space. And the last thing you'll see in the email below, just want to mention this because it might be of use to us as a parish and really helpful is we do have this mental health first aid workshop coming up. The information's in the email below. God bless you all. I'm so grateful to be a part of you, part with you in this parish, and 
grateful that we have this God who has called us in love to return, to gather, and to sanctify. May you have a solemn and meaningful observance of Lent this year.